Sphinx's pastizzeria, that's pastizzi in Gozo. Oh, time for a Maltese pastizzi. I love my cheese pastizzi. They're not good for you, but sometimes you have to break the rules. Here they are down here. Mm -mm. Ah, all these pastizzi from the Sphinx pastizzeria. Uh, doesn't get any more Maltese than this. These are the best on the island. Love them. Uh, look how flaky the crust is. It just falls apart. Tasty. Inside is nice ricotta cheese. Creamy. Mmm. What a joy. In search of prickly pear. And yes, I found a ton. Still here in an old spot of mine. Right on the Malsaforn Road. I gotta be careful uh, not to get hit here. Look at that bunch right over there. Delicious. Lots of prickly pear. Look at this bunch. Whoa. Huge mother load. Back to an old sweet spot of mine. Watch out for the cars. Park the bike across the road. Start getting them. Now we've got our precious prickly pear. Back to the house. Now we're gonna let them soak in water. Okay, now we've got the prickly pear soaking in some tap water to clear off the but mainly to allow the thin thorns, hence the name prickly pear, to fall off. Allow them to be handled without being poked. They should be ready in a couple hours. Okay, I've drained the water off these prickly pear. About two hours. Get rid of all those little thorns. We're gonna do a little taste test on this guy. Okay, I'm gonna show you how we cut one of these bad boys. We just cut off the back like so. Cut off the front. You can see the front's got a little indentation. We cut inside that indentation. And you can see you got that darker inner circle, that's the fruit, and this outer circle is still the skin. Let's see it more clearly on the back. This dark inner circle and white skin. And to get that off, we just do a longitudinal cut kind of through the skin like so. It's softened because of being in the water. So that skin just peels nicely right back off the fruit. And there you have it. True test now is coming up. The taste. There you go. Mmm. Triple throw. Love.